AI is taking the world of text to video by storm. But I got the inside scoop for you in this video. And I'm gonna start by letting the results speak for themselves. By allowing your eyes to feast upon some amazing text to something, they're impressive when you think about what they're doing. They're not impressive when you think about it compared to normal stuff. Although it's super weird and eerie and awkward and kind of hard to look away from, so maybe it is engaging. I don't know, you'll have to see for yourself. Then we'll dive into how the magic wand behind these products works. Most notably, the runway AML Gen 2 text to video creation tool. It is now available for everybody. So this is some AI generated footage of your grandma. Oh! Playing basketball? Get out of here. That's more like my great grandma. Oh my God, where'd the minions come from? What is going on? Holy shit. What the hell? My grandma would never curse like that. She curses kind of in a different way. What the hell? <laughs> My God, I'm sorry for the nightmares. Let's go to another video. So by just imagining in his own head what it would be like if Mr. Beast cured 1,000 people of hemorrhoids, he created this. This video, we're curing 1,000 people's hemorrhoids. <laughs> When patients go into surgery, there's a chance that they can get their butt back. And for Charlie, if the surgery goes well, he can go back to work. Let's see how the surgery went. What's it like? Oh, wow. So if you're a Jerry Seinfeld fan, want to see some more like comedians and car stuff, but you've seen them all already, this is a perfect opportunity. Just type up what you want and then this thing can kind of Fill the void, I kinda, a little bit, maybe not, maybe not at all, maybe not yet. It's raining and don't even get me started Why? on the size of these things. Mm -hmm. They're like little mini oh tablets God. on your wrist. If you want to be smart, read a book. My God, is that comedian in a car defying gravity? Read a book. Whoa, didn't see pasta getting them at the end of the day. Weird. I feel like it does 90s ads pretty well because they were already weird. Resistance is futile. You'll be eating half. So maybe it can succeed at that type of weird. You know what I mean? With but they're all wearing burger hats? As on the side. Okay, the human jaw doesn't go that big, but I, yeah, but it makes you feel like that person wants to eat the burger. Ugh. Burger black. Bugbacks, the place to be. Not that appetizing, honestly. But still, someone made this without, you know, needing to make a hamburger or hire actors. Self-charging, self-piloting, self-defending technology. The iSuck provides unlimited cleaning power. Self-defending? I mean, I didn't know self-defending technology was a feature we needed. I might not need to worry about dirt and grime again, but there will be bigger worries if I buy this thing, for sure. This Thursday, join us for the first annual Celebrity Breakdance Off. All of your favorite stars will be there in a dance off to the death. Will Smith, also eating spaghetti for some reason. George Clooney, the doctor is in. Tom Hanks, Dance Forest, Dance. Jerry Seinfeld, this breakdancing is making me thirsty. Martha Stewart. It's a terrifying thing. Bill Gates. Smooth moves, nerd. Bill Clinton. That's breakdancing? What am I watching? I can feel my brain trying to catch up with the visuals. Like, I'm like, is it the, the, the hip turn into a leg the, the, with the head? Uh, and then it's like onto something else. Okay, so it doesn't really do breakdancing very well yet, to be honest. Smash that subscribe button. All right, let's go. We'll try the 90s commercials again. Maybe pizza nuggets? Class is so boring. I wish I could eat some pizza. They'd never let us eat pizza in school. Got the perfect snack for you. Pizza nuggets, they're the bomb. Chicken and pizza, all in one. Pizza nuggets, all in one. Yeah, I don't know. Stupid. I think it's stupid. <gasps> oh, look, new Matt Wolf video. Should we go comment on it real quick? If side effects come, stop taking. See Medicine Magician fast. Flatulus, be a medicine magician fast. Introducing Flatulus, a drug special for no farts. Flatulus works inside your body guts, makes gas small and gives good for life confidence. Okay, that was hilarious, but that was mostly the scripting, which I kind of feel like a human might have still wrote that. I don't know. But anyways, you can see from the images what it's capable of. What if the Nintendo 64 game console and the new Apple Vision Pro were united, but it was still in the late 90s? Awesome. The new PowerSight 64. Now this is what Gen 2 Runway ML was meant for. Oh my God, is that what it looks like? Like it does kind of look like an N64, but just like helmet style. That's crazy. And don't forget the power field gloves. Whoa, now I can feel the game. Ow, 
Hey, what the heck? Oh my god, that headset and gloves? They can take your soul? Oh, I don't want to give up my soul, but I also kind of want one. Okay, so now let's talk about how these videos are actually made. And most of them were made with a tool called Runway ML Gen 2 Text to Video or other kind of like video to video, image to video type stuff. Now it does cost money, but I'll also show you later in the video an open source alternative. Now it's time to hold on to your seats because making video from text just got a whole lot easier. The company Runway ML for a few months now has had the best in class text to video generator around, but they have kept people on a waiting list. So even though we could see examples, we couldn't play with it. But today that ends, the waiting list is now gone. Anybody can sign up and use it. Now don't expect mid journey level quality yet, but also think of how fast mid journey got way better. I'm sure we'll be on a similar curve with this tool. At the end of the day, a video is just a bunch of single frames. You can see what mid journey can generate with frames. Now it's just about gluing them together in a way that feels real, where things like gravity make sense and things don't mush together wrong. And that's a new problem, but it's gonna get solved really fast with all the AI breakthroughs we've had. So starting with a tool like Runway Offers is like having a little mini Hollywood in your pocket. And Marvel level quality is just a matter of time. I mean, it might be one of those things where we get like 80% there and then it takes a long time to do the last like 10 or 15%, but we are on that road. So you can start thinking about a career that direction if you want. But still play with it now because imagine the world we're about to step into, a world where you can just take, you know, your iPhone, even if it's low quality, film something, act some way, and then replace yourself, replace the background, and have probably in the future like a Marvel level cinematic video. Just typing in the text, aerial footage of a mountain range will give you a product similar to this. The late afternoon sun peeking through the window of a New York City loft? How cool is that? This is useful if you want a photo of yourself or you start with something made from mid journey and then say you want it to be animated in a certain way. Then you add the text prompt. In this case, it specifies the low angle shot, which it figured out. And he's kind of walking, but you'd think the background would change if he was walking. But you know, like I see him moving. Here's just straight image to video, no prompt. It just said, hey, I love this photo. Just make it, make it animate, you know? Like if you see people, make them move like people. If you see clouds, make clouds move like clouds. In the long term, I think the stylization feature is gonna be like their big seller. That's gonna be the wow factor. Because you just take all these videos and photos that we already have of ourselves and then just style transfer. Just this image or this world or this universe and boom, we're in them. But you can tell in this video that the spots know to stay on the dog as it moves around the frame. It's crazy. Now the storyboard was the one that was most surprising to me. And this made me think, imagine like little kids playing with like Legos and bricks and then just building what they want, taking their like iPhone and like going through the city or animating some kind of concert or whatever they've built out of Legos and then just, you can watch it with them, like a full on concert or a full on city, it's just, it's just crazy. Imagine Runway ML Gen 2 and a spoon. Here comes the airplane. That's gonna look like freaking Top Gun. So a Ram Pitch wrote this pretty funny article. It's kind of a review about Gen 2 runway, the text to video model, and some of the other things that it does. He asked for some cartoon characters like Peppa the Pig, Paddington Bear, and Blue from Blue's Clues. And what he got sort of looks like those characters a little bit, maybe a little bit cartoony, but whoa, look at that one. The photorealistic Peppa the Pig. Not that we needed a photorealistic Peppa the Pig, but like, whoa, not that one especially. Now he points out you can't really do logos or, you know, a letter with like certain writing on it. You just can't do writing yet. Not totally surprising considering Mid Journey and Dali can't really do the fingers or the typing very well either. It points out it can do a really good job of robots at a bar. So if you've got a movie idea about robots at a bar, you're off to a great start. Other areas that he had success with was family around meal. So you can make a nice like rom-com type thing. Potate One is a state of the art text to video generator. That's right, open source, free to use, and text to video. Very new, very rare to hear all of that in one sentence. So text to video synthesis collab. This means you can use the collab notebooks, which are really convenient. So Matt Provid will walk you through you in his video, which you'll find in the description, and also a link directly to this notebook. But I'm not kidding, it can generate similar to Runway ML's Gen 2, um, 780p, 24 frame a second videos. So here you've got a bunch of fruit falling, I think, looking up at some trees. Oh, like a kind of jungle cruisy looking drone shot. Very cool. Dylan Curious to potate one. Starship Command, can we go into space? Thanks, man. Maybe animate your school's logo or something, you know, the fighting uh, goblins or whatever. Potate one with a Pokemon. Okay, more adult themed kind of. And look, if you're already sick of watching videos that you had to type out or submit a video or an image first, 
Don't worry about it. There's also thought to video so you can just read people's brains and they can literally just zombie out on a couch. Yeah, so this is the mind video project which people have built and people have used to a surprisingly scary realistic degree. It's like turning your brain into a movie projector. Don't even know what to say to that. But your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. So imagine it's Thanksgiving, everybody gathers around the TV, you decide, I'm gonna put on this helmet and share my favorite memories with my family. And then boom, it's instantly translated onto the screen. So you just think back to your most cherished and lovely memories with each person in the room and they can re-experience that with you. So in these examples on the left is a video that they were showing up a human, a human participant. They imagined what they were watching because they were watching it and this thing read their mind and generated what's on the right. So the closer those two match, the better it can read your mind. And look at how close it got. So guess what? The genius behind some of those epic AI generated commercials that we watched early in this video just released a full tutorial about how he made them. So I'd encourage you to go check that out. And this video is just fresh from a couple days ago. So be the first one, you know, go check it out. Find some innovative ways to like break out on YouTube. And if you do, come back and tell me because I'm stuck at 3,000 subscribers. Anyways, this tutorial could be your movie career launch pad. Check it out. I could be the Spielberg of goofy ads. Wow. And once you do make your movie, don't even worry about going to Hollywood. You don't need the big studios anymore. Discord is kind of taking that role. I'll explain. A Hollywood studio called One Door is working on an adaptation of a young adult novel. It's a sci-fi series called The Calculated. And they're using artificial intelligence and crowdsourcing to try to get the movie made collaboratively. So all you gotta do is go to a Discord channel. And then if you've got some ideas for the story of this 17 year old girl math prodigy who uses her gift to take down the dark criminal underworld, you can just go work with them. You can work with the background images, the character design, or even the storyline. Dan Cobb from One Door Studio says it's about making the process more democratic. So if you want to be part of making a movie, this could be your golden ticket. Imagine going to the movie theaters and telling your friend, hey, I helped contribute to that scene. Honestly, that would increase fan engagement and ultimately revenue. Actually, speaking of revenue, does that go back to the fans or not? Smash that subscribe button.